Hello and welcome to your What's On guide for May. Uh, you may have noticed it's looking a little bit different. I'm actually still in Toronto. I've just had a brilliant week working on the Circus Sessions project here, which runs out by Femme de Faux for uh, development of circus artists, but we've been looking at accessibility and audio description for circus, and I've learned a huge amount um, getting on a plane in a few hours to come back to the UK where I can continue working in this vein. That's what I've been doing. Um, but yeah, so we're a little bit DIY today before I leave my Airbnb. But I've drawn out our UK map and we'll show you what's on where. Okay, so here is our UK map and I'm going to start with the tenting circuses but there's also quite a few uh, little miniature festivals popping up now the sun's coming out so then I will move on to showing you the programs of some of those after we have done the tents so uh, the first thing that I can spot with my pen is up here where we have Big Kid Circus in Glen Rothes. sorry about my pronunciation Scottish people I'm not sure of that town um, but then I do know that Big Kid Circus are travelling down to Bonnie Rig, and then over to Lanark, and then up to Musselburgh. Again, sorry if I'm not pronouncing these right. Um, and then if we come down into England, who do we have? We've got uh, Planet Circus, Barrow Inverness. Um, in York, Paulo Circus have extended their stay. We've also got a review. I I um, didn't go up to see them myself, but one of my colleagues, Dan, who is a magician and a children's entertainer, he went along and reviewed the show. So, um, there, there's the link. Um, but yes, Paulo Circus are in York until the 13th, and then they move to Driffield. Um, coming down, we have got Moscow State Circus. They start in Sheffield. They move to Hull as the month goes on, then they move to Halifax, then they move to Chester. Um, the Wonder Circus are in Formby here. Um, then we've got, of course, Blackpool Tower. They've got their programme running through the whole of May. Um, but in terms of the touring circuses, we have got Gandhi's Circus, who start in Macclesfield, and then they will be heading right down off the map to the Channel Islands, Guernsey first and then Jersey, um, to there on there somewhere near France. Um, and uh, we also have Charles Chipperfield Circus who start in Telford. I'll try and actually make that a tent instead of a squiddle. Um, they start in Telford, they're around the West Midlands area so they're in uh, Smethwick and Bearwood. Uh, we've also got Circus Fantasia in the Midlands area who start off in Darleston. Then they're going to head up to Bury and Rawtonstall. Circus Salai uh, begin in Nuneaton and then they'll come down to Kenilworth and then up to Colville. Um, Leicester is a home to the Curve Theatre which will be hosting Exploded Circus later on in the month which is the brand new show from Mimbre Acrobats. They will be starting May down in Brighton, or Worthing actually, which is near Brighton, as the opening number for Worthing's Summer of Circus. Um, over the summer, every weekend, they'll have different circus uh, programmes showing. Uh, Brighton is also where No Fit State are um, for the start of May, and then they will be coming up to their hometown of Cardiff towards the end of the month. Um, that's also a route that uh, Circus Vegas will be taking. So Circus Vegas, they start in Southampton, they move along to Brighton, and then they come up to Cardiff. Uh, elsewhere in Wales, Peter Jolly Circus are in Welshpool. The Pontio Arts Centre in Bangor, they have got the new Gandini juggling show, Spring, coming to them on the 10th. And if you like a bit of a sing-along, it's the greatest showman sing-along in their cinema space on the 8th, which will be a lot of fun. Um, Citrus Arts are a Welsh circus theatre dance company who've got their new show Shipwrecks, 
which will be playing at various venues in Wales over the course of the month. I will link their website below so you can keep track of the dates. They're not fully released yet, but I know they're coming. And all the other companies that I mention are also linked below so you can keep track if they're coming near you or if you want to find out more about those companies. Um, back into England and different circus have begun their annual tour. They always start in May and they start in their hometown of Stroud, beginning to move east. So we're in Winchcombe and then, uh, what does that say? King, Kingham, then Kingham. I thought it said Kingsham, uh, but Kingsham is another place on my list where we've got Circus Fantastic or Circus Mondeo or maybe both. I'm a little uncertain because um, I can see information from both circuses that suggest they might be in Kingsham, although I imagine there's only one pitch, so they've probably uh, decided between them who's going to take it, but there will be circus in Kingsham this month, I am sure. J Miller's Circus start in Chippenham and then move down to Andover. We also have Circus Zaire coming over into the West Country. They begin their tour in Bexley Heath in London, and then they do come out to Western Supermare. Then they'll be going down to Salisbury, and then they'll be heading back up towards London to Palmer's Green. Um, there's a few other circuses around the London area, which I'll come back to in a moment. Not forgetting the West Country though, we've got it Plymouth Theatre Royal, which is where I had my first ever professional theatre job many, many years ago. Uh, they are hosting Cirque Berserk, um, and Cirque Berserk will then be moving to Brighton later in the month. Um, around London then, we have got Cirque Normandy, who start in Gerrard's Cross, and then move down to Bisley, which is near Woking. Um, we've got Zippo Circus, who are in Tooting, and then East Ham, and then Wallington, and then they head up to Newcastle under Lyme. Philip Astley's birthplace, very important circus city for the year. Um, in Luton, uh, Circus Wonderland, starting off their month. In Harlow, it's Santa Circus, and if we keep going north, then we've got Letchworth with Uncle Sam's, and into East Anglia, Russell's International Circus, who are in Bury St Edmunds, and then Circus Wonderland will be heading out from Luton east to Lowestoft and Great Yarmouth. Oh, and I've forgotten one in London because I'm trying to read my own writing here. Uh, Circus Fantasia are in Acton Park. Then if we go back further to the south, we've got John Lawson Circus, who are starting their tour in Peacehaven. They move along to Littlehampton, to Bognor Regis, to Horndean in Hampshire, and then to Borden by Guildford. Um, it is possible that I have missed somebody this month, um, and I'm very sorry for that. Um, I'm a little bit with, full of jet lag, I'm a little bit pushed for time, and I'm a little bit short of resources, um, and it does take a lot of trawling through the internet trying to track down where all these circus companies are. Um, there is no central database in the UK of um, keeping track of different circus companies, which is why I decided that I would do this. So if I have missed you out, I'm very sorry. Please um, just put your details in the comments um, in, and, and I'll sort of add that to any posts that I make. Um, I just want to mention as well on tour Occam's Razor. They're not in a tent, but they uh, do have a new show, so they'll be visiting theatres, uh, starting in Stratford East. The show is called Belly of the Whale, I believe, and it's billed as um, combining sculpture and circus. So it'll start in Stratford, then go up to Norwich uh, as part of the Norwich and Norfolk Festival, and then it will go to Lincoln, and then it will be going to the Nuffield Theatre in Southampton which is my other uh, other theatre training ground back in the day. Uh, which is really lovely to hear that they're bringing circus in now. I think that is it, all the marks that I can make on the map. So I'm going to show you a couple of these festivals that I mentioned so you can see what's on those programmes. So I've already mentioned the Worthing Summer of Circus. Um, this is their programme here. They have 
uh, weekends with different circus um, acts um, headlining. So Exploded Circus, One Weekend, Gandini juggling the eight songs, which they're rock and roll juggling um, vignettes. Uh, Garbui, Compagnie of Vavel Circus, uh, and that's later on into June um, as the festival continues over the summer. Um, Wandsworth Arts Fringe has got a new venue this year, which is the Battersea Circus Garden, um, and the full program integrates all the different items. So if I go to the Facebook group there for the Battersea Circus Garden, it's being programmed and produced by Pitchbend Productions, and it, inclu- it starts on the 4th of May, and it includes Hoops and Loops Festival Opening Cabaret, Hiccupy Theatre with Moonfall, a Swing Fling, um, a Hog Wallops, Cul-de-Sac um, by Gemma Paloma and Jose Truguero. Um, goes through 7th, 8th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th of May. Um, so I will also link that programme down below so you can see if there's something there that suits you. The Norwich and Norfolk Festival runs from the 11th of May until the 27th and they have a really extensive programme across all different art forms but I can filter up here by circus. So when I do that we can see the brand new show from Barely Methodical Troupe which has been commissioned by the festival and will premiere there on the 16th. On the weekend of the 19th and 20th their outdoor garden party where there'll be loads of um, of street circus performances and activities happening and then Gandini juggling will be there on the 22nd of May with Sigma which is the show they've created with four women that combines juggling patterns with Bharatanatyam Indian dance um, which I found very beautiful and moving at Edinburgh Fringe last year finally the website I will show you is the Underbelly Festival on London South Bank and again I can filter circus events. Um, circus Abyssinia launched the program, on, um, they're already playing there, they started in April um, and they will be finishing on the 20th of May so Circolumbia, Colombian circus and hip-hop dance and music uh, troupe come in uh, on the 24th of May and then we also have the very circusy caterpillar, uh, which by the looks of it and the sounds of it is going to be a children's show. I'm going to click actually because I don't know anything about it. Starts on the 19th of May. Oh, and it's from Australia. That's probably why I haven't heard of it, but I do enjoy Australian circus, so I might see if I can check that out. And soap uh, starts on the 3rd of May, and this also I wanted to check out. Um, A unique combination of world-class acrobatics, comedy and live opera performed in, on and around bathtubs. So uh, I will keep you posted if I do get a chance to go and see that. And finally, I just want to add a couple of uh, one-off events that I missed on the big map. So in Glasgow, which I think is up here somewhere if I remember rightly, um, there's a uh, show from Baseline Circus which is called Liquid Sky, which features uh, laser rope work and um, heavy sound system music. Um, Elephant and Castle in London, on the 3rd, there's a takeover in the Elephant and Castle pub from the second year students at the National Centre for Circus Arts, who I taught last semester in their performance review and analysis module. And I can't get along to see what they're doing, but it's gonna be a compilation of of short acts so I would love to hear any feedback from anyone who does go along because that's nice to hear what they're up to and also in Circo Media in Bristol um, the students there have got their um, final showcases of uh, personal pieces their independent projects which are from the 22nd to the 31st and the BTEC students will be showing what they've been working on on the 17th to the 19th. And also in Circa Media, in their um, visiting performers programme, Dizzy O'Dare are bringing their tight wire show Rise on the 10th and 11th. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.